Hello again, welcome back. Hasn't been too long since I made a, an update, but I'm just making a quick one to kind of give an idea of what's been happening over the last couple of weeks. A couple of big things. The most important of which is that I got a phone call from the temporary job that I had over Christmas and they've asked me to come back permanently. So I'll be working there five days a week and I will be working at my current job that will be reduced down to two days a week. So the plan going forward for this year is to work seven days a week for as long as possible. And I know that a lot of people wouldn't recommend doing that, but it is not for you know, the extended future. It's not going to be for five years or anything. It will be for around about one. So I'll have big changes happening in September. So the idea is to have the portfolio built up as much as possible by then. And the same with the channel. But unfortunately, because I will be rostered into work every morning regardless of the day of the week it means that i'll probably be pretty tired when i come back in the evenings and i'm not going to be able to make as many videos as i plan to but it does mean that i'll stick to making updates probably once every two weeks maybe even once a week and then i'll make the odd individual breakdown video but i can't put a huge amount of time into it because i don't have a huge amount of time anymore so good news i set pretty outrageous goals for the year and things are falling into place to allow those things to happen but it's going to take a lot of work second bit of good news is on the 30th of december there was what i'm going to call a vanguard day from now on huge amount of vanguard payments all came in on the same day so it means that in the future if i now vanguard is very safe if you're not really familiar with them they're very very popular and in my own opinion they're quite ethical as far as financial companies go they're one of the few that seem to have made it to the top without screwing people over as much as possible but they are considered to be pretty safe you know people stick their retirement funds into vanguard funds but it means that i can now intentionally bulk up all of the vanguard positions and then on one particular day probably once per quarter I would imagine. Yeah, the FTSE 100 and FTSE 250, they only pay every quarter. They don't pay every month. I do have a few vanguards that pay every month, but these are not them. So, one day every quarter, there will be a considerable amount of payments from Vanguard alone, along with a few others. But of course, these can always change at any moment. And it has been a pretty good start to the year. So this is the 30th of December and everything above here is the dividends I've received since then. And it has been a little while, but yeah, that's a big one. 233 from Great Elm Capital. But as you can see, they're beginning to build up bit by bit. Now a couple of nice big ones. You can definitely, you can spot the monthly paying stocks quite quickly. They're often the largest. I actually... As a way of celebration, I deposited 100 euro into the account and I put that into the pie of all my monthly paying stocks. Now, this is just stocks, not ETFs or bonds or anything like that. So, each of them should get a small bit. I did do it by self balancing. So, in the overall pie, I'll show you it here. I was looking for 100 euro per position. So, it'll be 4,400 euro and when I invest money into it and I switch it to self-balancing it will give more to the smaller positions like so but anyway put 100 euro in there the total value of the portfolio now is it's worth about 9,700 euro but I've invested about 11,315 euro and to this day, I've received 392 euro in dividends. So, making progress, either way. And to be honest, I think I'll just stick to the plan that I had before of bulking up all of these tiny little positions. Now, I'm just going to show you who's doing the worst. That was already there. So, this will be one area that I'll be focusing some of my funds, but it is very risky because they're heavily down for a reason and they might not recover for a while. So it's not often a good idea to constantly put them into the red ones. But what I'm going to do is bulk up the smallest positions. 
which start. Now this cannot be done because it's JP Morgan Russian Securities. It's now against the law to trade that for the time being. But starting from here, anything that I have that's in a small position, right, even if it's in the green, I'm just gonna bulk it up. Because I can't really have, there's no point in having so many like different stocks and positions in the portfolio basically if so many of them are like two euro, even less than 10 euro, there's pretty much no point. And it will take a while to get them all to 100, but that's the reality of it. If you wanna make an omelet, you have to break some eggs. So I'm going to stick the, see I have all of the ETFs, bonds and all that stuff. They have their own pie so I can just bulk invest into that and increase the size of all of these. So I think Roper Technologies is the lucky winner for today. Seems to be doing all right. Anyway, four euro and 60 cents. It's as simple as that. So there's going to be quite a few positions that should hop out of here now. Here now, but there'll be quite a few positions that have been sitting down here for could be months, months and months and months. If I started the position and they never really attracted any attention, good or bad, they could have been sitting here for months. So it's now important to go down through all of these and get anything below ten euro up to ten euro. But to be honest, that's pretty much it. You know, apart from getting another job again and figuring out that there's a Vanguard day, there hasn't really been too much going on with the portfolio, tipping away. Yeah, that's pretty much it.